Okay, so you're back at it March 18th. You mm -hmm. got your yeah. big horse in the ring. Does this validate Triple G's career in the boxing public eye? You know, just like I said to the young man before you, uh, what do you think? I, I would like to think that after the fight, you will uh, say that it did. Uh, because I think that is, this is the horse that should tell us something about Golovkin. Uh, but if he destroys him the same way he's been destroying everybody else, will I get the same kind of feedback again? Ah, oh, well, you know, Piran knocked him out and he, did, you know, he didn't have this. This is a good fighter. This is a good fighter that knocked out impressively the guy that was telling us, the people were saying, was going to be the guy that knocked out Golovkin, which was Peter Quillen. So, I think that we have a great fight on our hands. I think that we have a great challenge. I don't think that he'll last the length of the fight, but I think that we have a great challenge. Now, they're building a super team over there with trainers, Virgil Hunter and Rosier. Can you speak to that, and are you doing anything different for this camp? Well, absolutely not. I won't do anything different. I, I think that uh, Andre is a very smart coach. Virgil, I have a ton of respect for Virgil's uh, coaching abilities. If they feel that they can work together and create something that that is better than what they have, then I think that's a great thing for, uh, for Danny. Um, but it's between Andre and, and Virgil being able to work together. Uh, I had a young man fight uh, named Shafakov fought uh, last year against uh, Herring. And from what I understand and what I saw in clips, uh, Mike Stafford, who's a great coach, Broner's coach, and uh, Barry Hunter, who's Peterson's coach, were arguing in the corner about when to stop the fight. I think that when when great minds like that get together, we all have our ideas. But if Virgil and Andre can work together, I think it benefits Danny Jacobs. Now, Abel, uh, Gennady's fight with Kell Brook uh, was the most difficult fight for Gennady in a long time. You know, why do you think, you know, even though he got the fifth round knockout, why do you think there was such a, a difficulty for him? Because he made it difficult. Um, since the Lemieux fight, if you, when you, we saw the Lemieux fight and we saw him uh, display the great jab and outside work, uh, the fights after that have, have been to the point where he's lost interest. He's lost interest not, not in the gym, not in the training, uh, because the, the fight was obvious that he they trained for him, but in, in the actual guy in front of him. We have no, sometimes we have no choice and in, in, in no say in who we face because of mandatories, which was Wade and, and, um, and Monroe. Uh, Monroe, in the fourth round, I believe, Gennady's egging him on to come on, come on, will he? Because he wanted it to be a fight that where he, he could fight, where he could display his talents, but Willie wasn't willing to. Wade obviously was too easy. Uh, Brooke uh, fight when he hurt him in the first round was another one of those like, oh shit, here we go again. Uh, so he made it a stupid fight uh, to try maybe and to please the fans, but I, I want to say that in his mind, maybe he was thinking he can entice some other guy to st sign on the dotted line because he sees deficiencies, but uh, Danny Jacobs was the only one that took the challenge. Now, now clearly, uh with Jacobs, it looks like you're going to probably pursue the route you did against uh, Lemieux, where you're a little bit more, I don't want to say cautious, but a little bit more precise. No, I don't think so. I think that with Danny Jacobs, Danny Jacobs has got a heck of a lot more ability, more intelligence in the ring, more boxing intelligence in the ring, uh, better tools than Lemieux. Lemieux had heavy hands, but really didn't know how to use them. Uh, his IQ was limited. Uh, so it was easy just to keep him on the outside and just bop, 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 you know, just hit him whenever he wanted to hit him. With Danny, I believe that Danny uh, will think that he can get on the inside and fight. And I think what we'll see is the kind of fight like we used to see. Two guys on the inside trying to outdo each other with some skill and some thought. And um, will be a reminiscence of uh, uh, Hagler and Leonard Benitez, all those guys that fought actually on the inside, didn't hold. So if that's the case, then uh, I think Danny's, Danny and, and Golovkin will be one of the fights of the year uh, until, until it ends.